A very disgusting, disturbing find at a local library, bed bugs. It's in Middletown and it's being debugged tonight. News 8's Aaron Cox has this story. The sign on the library door, not one you want to read. Closed due to bed bugs. Bed bugs in the library is kind of weird. They're books. <laughs> one after another, finding out it's now the building being checked out. I think it's crazy. Bed bugs in a library? I never heard of such a thing. A bed bug discovered in a DVD case and another area in the adult section, prompting the city to close the main branch and ask folks to return items in plastic bags so materials can now be examined. This family bringing everything back. I'm just trying to make sure we get them out of the house as soon as possible, I guess. So we wanted to know what is the city going to do about this problem? The mayor telling me that tonight a dog specially trained to detect the presence of bed bugs will sniff through this whole building and depending on how many hits will determine whether the exterminator uses extreme heat or chemicals to address the problem. I hope that we're confined to the two areas that we know about and I hope that we're early on in this and regardless of whether we are or not the problem will be taken care of hopefully by the end of the week. The Connecticut Library Association says this is not common in our state, but in summer, folks do travel with borrowed books. The CDC says bed bugs usually occur in public places close to a heat source, such as a person's body, not necessarily in the pages of a book. Books are coming back, but will the people, will you come back? I'm not going to be sitting down on the chairs and stuff. In Middletown, I'm Erin Cox, News 8.